done. So for this video, I'm gonna be thinking about what I'm wearing and what I'm taking along for my first official marathon, which I'm doing in a week's time. It's the Brighton Marathon. And I haven't run the distance in an official event before. I have done the distance as a solo marathon, but this is the first time I'm gonna be going along and doing it as part of an official event. So I'm gonna break this video into two. I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing. And then in the second half of the video, I'm gonna look at what I'm taking along with me. So I've got everything that I'm going to be wearing and taking along with me laid out on the table in front of me and I'll be showing you one by one what these things are and also just a bit about the reasoning why I've gone for these particular things because the most important thing when you're looking to, to do a marathon is really just testing kit out as you're doing your, your training plan and seeing what works for you. So I found that in the 12 week training plan that I've, I've almost completed, I've done 11 weeks of it, this is just what works for me. And it's not to say that it would work for everyone, it's really a matter of trial and error, but these are the things that I found uh, just work for me, my style of running and for, for what I need in terms of uh, the event. So I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing on my feet. And it's going to be my ASICS Gel Excite 7s. So this pair I actually bought with this event in mind. I've only done about 50 miles in them. I've actually mainly been training in another pair of Gel Excite 7s. So these have done about 300 miles. Um, and I did a review of these after 200 miles, which you can find on my channel too. Uh, but I bought a fresh pair because I didn't want the, the padding, the cushioning to be too worn down. I, I have done about 50 miles in these just to really get a feel for this pair that I'm going to wear on race day and also so the, the sole can kind of morph to my foot a little bit. I know some people talk about buying a completely fresh pair for race day but I wanted to, to wear them in a little bit. So I've done about 50 miles uh, and I know that these are a shoe that work for my foot. I've got quite wide feet and, and also they give the cushioning that I'm going to need over that distance. That's what I'm wearing on my feet. Socks, I am going for these socks, uh, so they're by Close Mate, so they look like this, um, so some, some ankle socks, and I, again I've got a, a fresh pair of those for the day, so I haven't opened these up yet, but these Close Mate socks, these are the ones that I'll be using, again they provide good cushioning, uh, I don't seem to get blisters with them, so we're going to be going for those on the day. Moving upwards, I'm going to be going for calf sleeves. And these are by Modetro Sports. So again, just to support my calves as I'm running along in the marathon. And then moving further upwards, the, the running underwear I'm going for is going to be these. These are, it actually isn't running underwear. Um, it's some shorts from Decathlon. So these are Kalenji shorts from Decathlon, but I found that they're so comfortable that I've decided to wear them as underwear. So that's what I'm going for. And you can't really overstate how important underwear is with long distance running, with half marathons, marathons and beyond, and indeed shorter distances too, but really crucial so you don't get chafing, so it's not uncomfortable. And these I find work really, really well. So I'm gonna have those as my underwear. And then as my shorts on top of that, I'm gonna be wearing these again from Decathlon, just some Kalenji shorts, nice and light fabric, um, and it's going to be about 19 degrees on the day, um, with the weather's saying in a moment. So that'll be good, pretty breathable for, for the day. Um, the, the underwear as well, I didn't mention there, has a little zip pocket on the back. And I'm going to be putting a couple of the gels that I'm taking along in that zip pocket. So kind of extra bit of storage there as you're running along too. So I found that really useful. For my running top, I'm going to be going for this, which I typically wear for events. Um, I, it's actually a shirt that I got free um, from Endure24, an event I did a few years ago. But I just found it's really comfortable. It's the one that seems to uh, be most breathable and I just like the top generally. So that's why I'm gonna be going for that, my race day top. On my head, I'm gonna be wearing this hat. So uh, I'm not sure what the brand is for this. Uh, I tried to look it up, but couldn't find it. Um, but again, it's quite breathable. Um, it's good if it, if it ends up raining. So it's not meant to rain on the day at the moment, but if it does end up raining, that can keep that out of my eyes. And then if it's sunny, keep the sun off you a bit too. And then I'm also gonna be taking along weather depending sunglasses. So if it's, if it's gonna be quite sunny, then I'll take those along with me. I'll see how it is on the day. At the moment it's saying sunny intervals, so I might well be taking those too. And then the thing I'm gonna be wearing round my waist is this belt. So Caramel belt, I think I bought this from Sports Direct Online. 
and it's got a couple of pockets, a big pocket here, which I'm going to be putting my phone in because I'm taking my phone along because I'm going to be filming a couple of bits. And that is also going to go in there with my, my phone clipped in there because it's kind of easier to hold and then film. So that's going to be in the big pocket and then in the smaller pocket. So just here, I'm going to be putting in some nutrition, which we'll have a look at in a second. I'm going to take this buff along really, really good because you can use it um, if you're feeling a bit hot, you can use it as a headband, so you can wear it in that way. Um, if you don't want to use it at all, you can just put it around your wrist or you can wear it around your neck. Um, and, and actually on a hot day, you can wear this around your neck for a bit and then put water all over it and that can cool you down. And then the final thing I'm going to be taking along is my Garmin Forerunner 35. So that's the other thing I'm going to be wearing on my wrist just to record my time. It's quite a simple model for a Garmin. Um, but it's done the job, uh, it's been reliable, and it has a battery life that lasts up to 13 hours too. So as long as the day goes well, and then hopefully my marathon time won't be, won't be that long, um, but that's what I'm gonna be taking along on my wrist. So next we'll have a look at what I'm gonna be taking in terms of food, nutrition, etc. And I've looked up what they're gonna be using at the event, just so I can get myself used to it and, and not have to carry too much. And they're going to be using high five. So I don't typically get on with gels too well. Um, I mean, I couldn't have them for a whole marathon. I couldn't have them for you know the complete duration of that. But the odd gel or two is OK for me. So I'm going to take along one or two of these as a, as a kind of spare. And they'll be going in that little pocket on the back of my race underwear, so that little zip pocket. So just as a kind of contingency plan. So I'll have one or two of those. They'll be handing them out on the day as well. So, um, you know, I might pick, pick up one or two of those. My plan is to have something every half an hour in terms of energy. Um, so I have a couple of those. And on the day, they're also going to be handing out some high five flavored water. So I've been getting used to these. And these are basically just tablets that you dissolve in water. They're handing them out periodically on the day. So, you know, I'm, I'm just in case I don't end up being at a, a spot when I need some. So my plan is to drink something every every 10 minutes. I'm going to take along in this bag a couple of these tablets. So if I do want to have some, some water with one of these in, then I can just take them out and then put them in the water as I'm going along. Also in this bag, I'm going to have a couple of these. So salt sticks. So particularly on hot days, these are important just to replenish your... Um, salts that you will sweat out. So I'm just going to take a couple of those uh, and of course you know I don't want to be taking on both these packets because you know they're just not going to fit in this small little pack that I've got. So I'm going to take out a couple of these, a couple of these and then put them in a little bag so they're nice and accessible. So in terms of other nutrition the thing that I'm, I'm mainly going to be having for energy is firstly these blocks from Lucho Delito. So I'm going to take along two of these and they're basically, for anyone who hasn't come across them before, they are blocks of guava with sugar. And I found that they just sit really well in my stomach, better than gels typically. So I'm gonna have a couple of those. And this is what they look like. They come wrapped in a leaf. So you can chuck the leaf away, it's biodegradable. And then inside you've got your block of guava. And I'm gonna chop that into two before I go. So if I wanna have a half and I don't wanna have all of it, then I can just take out the half, eat it, and then carry on running. The other thing I'm also gonna take is these cliff blocks. So two packs of these I've got, which I'm taking along. And again, just to make it easy to take them out as I'm running, I'm actually gonna chop the top off and, and then put it in my, in my pack. So I hope you found that useful. Like the video if you did, and do consider subscribing for more race videos, uh, kit reviews, and things like that. I'm gonna post a complete list of everything I've talked about here in the description below. And if you've got any questions about any of it, then just drop them in the comments, let me know. And if you're training for a marathon or you've got an event coming up, then best of luck with it um, and hope it all goes well.